Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment. Drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. It's a rejoice. The turnout is less than 10%. Less than 10%. Will you call that participation? You can't call any... A sensible person that is insane cannot call that participation. What it means is a total lockdown. Their friends have rejected the election. Then they won't be part of it. And you can't force them. We have been speaking and talking on different angles, trying to dialogue with people all this while, trying to sensitize the African people and sometimes when you talk and talk and talk it will seem as if you don't know what you are saying or as if you you are getting out of words but today it has become evidence it has become evident that we know what we are saying that the Biafran are listening and some of them who have been saying nobody's with Master Simon Ebra Master Simon Ebra is on his own nobody's with him he is on his own whatever he's doing is doing for himself Today, the Biafran people have shown that 90% of the Biafran people, they are behind Mans and Simon Eber. Only less than 10%. Less than 10% are with the Caliphate. And these are the politicians with their families and friends. Because of their evil plans, because of their fraudulent money they are getting, because of their selfish interests, they will never, ever, 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 ever go into that which will make them irrelevant. They are scared of the known. They know that when Biafra comes, there will be nobody to come to their doorstep to beg them anything. Mm -hmm. People will not be bowing down for them anymore. They know that when Biafra comes, that Biafra people will have their right to speak on their own different platforms. That is why they are afraid. And Mazin Nandekano kind of said it in his own word that they will never, this kind of people will never support Biafra. But the joy that we have is that the main Biafran people, the people who own the land, the owners of the land, the legitimate citizens, they have spoken and they said they want to go out of the zoo. Well, well prepared and grounded. And we are going. We are going home. Today was another referendum. We have been conducting this referendum coming for more than a year now. It has been coming. This one is the final referendum. And you got to wait for the declaration of Biafra. It will be declared and defended. Because we cannot be... We, we are out of it. We are out of it. You see, that is why we are different from this people. Our own case is that we are not going to legitimize it. Neither are we going to go into it at all at all. But some of... Some Biafrans, some of those fearful ones, those who are scared... Are afraid of the no. Those who, who told you, let them try and see if it will work before they not come back. Just pray that there is still space for you. Pray that there is still space or there is still a voice for you to talk of Biafra. Because you have seen it clearly today that your London boy is going nowhere. Your London boy is going nowhere. You saw the videos that I imagine from the north. You saw videos coming out from the northern part of Nigeria. Southwest, you saw video coming out from Southwest. Lagos, to be precise, you saw Lagos. You saw your people walking around and hanging like a Aturo Emohonyeche. Just because you want to cast a vote. You see tears in their eyes. Because you want to exercise your own democratic right. I thank you, Koko Gabema, that I was spoke to Master Simon and was to this ground. And the Biafran people sought the right way to demonstrate their own democratic right and we have done it today we have demonstrated our own democratic right by not being part of the fraudulent whatever they gather together to be call it the election which is not we are not part of those fraud we are on our own sitting in a various home praying and rejoicing with our children and family and we will continue There is no amount of force that they can use to make us join. No, we will not. It has become very clear and evident. 
And as time goes forward, you will begin to hear more. More things are going to happen. Going forward, you hear, I know many of them is going to run back. You're going to run back. Just pray that there will be space for you. Just pray. You wasted all your energy. The time that you would have used to channel to your freedom. The time that you have used to channel to your genuine freedom. A country of your own. You wasted that time. Talking about irrelevant things. You wasted the time. The time you would have used to build a nation of your own. The time that you would have used to make an impact and let the world know about the plight of your people. You did not. You wasted it on the London board. You wasted it on promoting an evil agenda. You wasted it pursuing an environment where you are not wanted. Which language do you want them to use to tell you before you understand? I am asking you, beer fans, that are talking about one Nigeria today. Those beer fans that came out and they were looking for where to vote in Lagos and whatever. Are you not tired? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Why are you forcing your place in a place where you are not wanted? Why are you forcing yourself to somebody? You are forcing yourself into some people. People that don't reject you. Onya juro na juo mwe. Onya juro na juo na juo mwe. Onya juro na juo mwe. A time has come when everybody, every individual, every one of us, we start doing that which is right. Focus on the right thing, speak the right word, and be consistent in what you are doing. Mazen Nandekan said it, that consistency is the key. You must be consistent. Without consistency, you cannot make a way. There's no pretense about it. If you are not consistent, you can never ever succeed. Why were we able to make this change we make today? We were able to make difference today because we were consistent. Those who were hoping, oh, at the dying minute they will say go and vote, at the dying minute they will call off election, at the dying minute they will release. We have shut their mouth up. We are in the era where we say a word and they stand on it. We are in the era. Of Mazen Nandekano, that era that Mazen Nandekano spoke about. The time of playing hanky panky has passed. Today, what you see is what you get. May Chukwu Kukapa, my guide and protect everybody that is alive today and continue to speak about Biafra, even after the kidnap of Mazen Nandekano, standing firm to hold up the legacy of Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano. And they can lay down a strong legacy. The legacy of Mazen Nandekan. He is not relenting in his effort. He built a standard through which we can be able to get our freedom. And we are following that template one after the other, carefully walking away from the zoo into the promised land. But for those who have chosen the other way around, some of you are going to come around very soon. Some of you are going to come around very soon. We have seen you online lamenting. We have seen you crying and begging. We have seen you challenging and say, oh, if they do this one, you will do this. What will you do? If they do this one, you do, what will you do? Why doesn't you do that thing you want to do before now? Oh, you are waiting for them to do something before you do, you, you react. You are waiting for them to do something before you react. That is how mad you people are. I thank you, Kuku Kabiam, for our spokesperson, Master Simon Eva, who has consistently remained on that part of truth. They try to truncate, our, uh, truncate what we are doing to make sure they make us afraid or make us scared not to speak or try to shake us. That was why you saw when they push up the propaganda of arresting Master Simon Eva. That propaganda was meant to demoralize the African people. The propaganda was meant to demoralize the African people. That was why you see that propaganda went viral. The whole world. But at the same time, why they were doing that against us, it was working for our favor. That very blackmail and propaganda made people who didn't pay attention to our spokesperson begin to pay attention to him. They begin to listen. They begin to see reasons why we are doing what we are doing. And I tell you, 
it can never ever be based as usual. Believe it, take it or leave it. It can never be business as usual. With the kind of referendum that have been conducted within this period of time, the kind of referendum, the kind of support the Biafra agitation have gotten, there is no going back. Biafra is here already. Biafra has come. All you have to do is that whichever position you are, wherever you are, stand firm. Mazen Laneke say, continue to hold on that place you are holding. Don't leave it. Don't, don't, don't leave it. If, we are, if they have told them, they will not agree. The criminals will never agree. Just like Mazen Laneke said, Anna Wazik, Anna Wazik, on if you back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And I was sick, happened that, happened that, if you see back up, back up. The same thing people are doing today. You are telling your brothers, if you follow Biafra, I want to follow Biafra France, what is happening? Leave this zoological republic and let us go back home. And if you see back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Forget about this London boy, he has nothing to offer you. And if you see back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. This London boy can never, he will not even come to that position. And if you see back up, back up, back up, back up. As stupid as they are, they will tell you, let us try. If he fails, then we come and start asking for Biafra. Only mad people will listen to such kind of suggestion. Only mad people will listen to those such kind of suggestion. And today already, you have seen them making videos, crying. See them making videos and crying in you of all, all, all part of the country. See them crying. Even their London boy is already crying and complaining. The London boy is already crying. He's already complaining. And I tell you, I thank Chikwu Kukabiyama for the auto-polluted IPOB under the spokesmanship of Mazda Simon Epa and on the leadership of Mazda Nandekano. I thank the members of Autopilot. I thank Mazda Nandekano. I thank our spokesperson Mazda Simon Epa. We have done a great job. Every member of autopilot, you must be proud of yourself. We have done a great job. We have done a great job. Finally, we have shaken the pillars that is holding the Zoological Republic. We have not shaken, we have removed that very pillar that is holding the zoo. Just a push and it will collapse. Just wait and see. Just a push, it will collapse. You think by taking the life of Biafra people, you will make us stop. You are only bringing Biafra closer. No amount of bullets you should will stop us. The more you continue to do it, the more you bring it closer. I thank you go carry on today. Biafra people who are sitting at home, they are safe and sound in their various home. That is the way it's supposed to be. When the beer from when you here sit at home, what you are supposed to do is to do what? Quietly sit in your home and pay attention to the situation. Just sit at home. You sit at home. Don't allow anybody to distract you. And as long as you are sitting at home diligently, let me tell you the result you're going to see. Hmm. What we do online is just to give you the information and say what we need to say. That is what we do. The power is not in our hand. Chukwu Okukabiyama is the one who wants to restore Biafra by himself. Chukwu Okukabiyama wants to restore Biafra by himself. And he chose Mazen Nan Nekan to lay the foundation and put the gospel. And today, Mazen Simon Epa is the one piloting us and leading us to that Biafra. Every single word they say, just like Mazen Nan Nekan, every of his prophecy come to pass. It is not his own word. It is Chukwu Okukabiyama speaking through him. The same way today, Mazen Simon Epa is not giving his own word. He is speaking the words that come from Chukwu Kabiyama. He makes it easy for us to understand. Every member of Autopilot that is broadcasted online, every member of Autopilot and media, the word you hear from them is not their own word. They are the word of Chukwu Kabiyama. And the word as agreed by the whole Biafra France. Every declaration our spokesman made is an agreement of the Biafra people. But you see them continue to push a propaganda and blackmail and lies. That nobody supports Mazi Simon Epa. He is on his own. But today the whole world is watching. Yesterday the Finland autopiloted IPOB protested in Finland. In Finland they protested to let the country know that our spokesman Mazi Simon Epa. 
is the spokesperson of Biafran people. And we have elected him. And on the ground today, I can tell you the Finnish journalists are on the ground today. The Finnish journalists are on the ground and they are watching and taking record on what is going on in Biafra land. The zoo can no longer hide this evil. The zoo can no longer continue to hide this conspiracy. The zoo can no longer continue to intimidate us. We have made our own choice that we are going to be free. That is why today the Biafran people have spoken in a loud voice. And I pray again, I pray again and again, every Biafran in Biafra land, may Chukwo Kukabiyama open the gate of blessing to you. May Chukwo Kukabiyama open the gate, gate of blessing, gate of health, gate of protection for you in Biafra land. As many as are genuinely today sitting at home, as many as are genuinely today adhering to the voice of our spokesperson, Master Simon Ewa, as many as on Biafra land today making us proud, may Chukwu Kukabia guide and protect you, secure you, provide for you. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Anybody in Biafra land today that is genuinely sitting at home, your sacrifice will never ever be in vain. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In our lifetime, you are going to enjoy the fruit of your labor. You have spoken, and the world have heard us. It is left for us to stand our ground. And as far as the autopiloted IPOB is, we are consistency personified. Our countdown continues in few days to go. Our countdown continues. Don't think we don't know what we are doing. It is not over. It is not over. It is stage by stage. When we defeat them on one stage, we enter the rest one. We have defeated them on the international stage. We defeated them on the media stage. Today we are on the ground defeating them. And when it gets to the battle, let me tell you, we will fight until the last man standing and we are going to defeat them. Hands down. We will. It doesn't matter their threat. They can take all their armor tank and send to the southeast. They can take all their armories, all the helicopters and focus on the southeast. But I tell you, we are going to overcome. We will overcome because we didn't call ourselves. We are not pursuing our own agenda. We are not going our own message. We didn't send ourselves. Chukwu Kukabema gave us the mandate. As the children of Chukwu Kukabema, he will never leave us alone. He will never leave us. He will lead us until we get to victory. We are going to march into victory. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Don't be blackmailed. Don't be distracted. Do not allow anybody to tell you otherwise. Are they going to come? They will come. They will gather. But because they are not gathering in the name of Chukwu Kukabiyama, they will definitely, definitely scatter. Yes, they will scatter. Because they have not gathered in the name of Chukwu Kukabiyama, they will scatter. Chukwu Kukabiyama have already opened the gate for, gate for us to go home. All we need to do is to pay attention, listen to our spokesperson, and I announce it and announce it several times. Go to Twitter. That is where the information is being disseminated. Go to Twitter. Begin to retweet every single tweet that Master Simon Epa tweet. Go. Type Simon Epa on Twitter. When you get it, retweet every single tweet he has tweeted. Retweet it. That is all you got to do. That is the only thing you have to do. Retweet all his tweets. That will make the tweet to be on top. To meet people who are supposed to listen to us and hear it. You know the people we are dealing with. We are dealing with criminal, a, a very corrupt and criminal country. With a very corrupt, lying and deceitful media. The media of the zoo can never ever tell you the truth. It can never. The worst media in the planet Earth is in the zoo. That's why Mazin Nana cannot tell you that these people, the, the, the zoo media, they are so bad to the extent that 
they will collect money to preach for Satan. They will collect money to promote Satan. That is how bad the Zoological Republic media is. They will take money from you to promote Satan. That is how bad it is. You see why you must stand your ground to walk away from this zoo. If we do not kill the Zoological Republic, the Zoological Republic will kill us. That is why we are ending that trash. And as we are ending it, every other indigenous tribe prepare to walk away. Prepare to walk away. We have seen every drama they are seeing today. All those things that all those obedient that are seen are crying. These are things that are already on the ground. It, it baffles me when you see people who claim to be intelligent. They claim to have brain. They claim to know everything. And yet, you are surprised about the template of the caliphate. The caliphate template, the template of the British in Zoological, uh, in Zoological Republic is one. They don't change it. It is that same template. And because they know that you are daft, you will never reason. That is why they use that same template over and over and over again. The same template. All these obedient people that are crying today, all those obedient people who are supporting uh, supporting London boy, everyone that cry, those things they are crying for, was it not the same thing that happened the last year, last time they did election? Was it not the same thing that transpired in the last election? Is it not the same thing? The INEC chairman now, was it not the same INEC chairman that rigged the election last time? Has anything changed? You talk about beavers. What nonsense beavers? We don't know beavers in that time. Last time when they told that they don't have server, even when they did accreditation, they did accreditation or whatever they call it, they did accreditation and yet, in the midst of the accreditation, they said they don't have any server. Tell me, those things you were accrediting and sending to the computer, where was it going to? It is the same man that came and said that INEC didn't have server. The same man is still the same person conducting election you want, you want to be credible. He is the same person, the same Mahmoud. The same people that disenfranchised you in the last election. They are the same people you want to go and think you can make things. These people are, you people are mad. All these obedient people, they are sick. Bunch of sick people. Sometimes I begin to wonder. When you look at them, they, they claim to be so smart. When you engage them, they begin to speak all manner of grammar. Begin to show you one certificate or the other. But at the end of the day, their brain is empty. Brain is empty. Because there is nobody that has brain that will tell me that you don't know the template of the zoo. It is the same template. They don't change it. The way they rig election, the way, nothing is going to change except you break the contraption. Only when you break up Nigeria, that is when you will have a meaningful change. If you are talking of change, it is only when you break it up Every indigenous tribe will go their separate ways. The Odudua people will be on their own. The Biafrans will be on their own. The Middle Bethans will be on their own. Arewa will be on their own side. Only then and then, people will begin to respect the rule of all law. People will begin to behave to protect that which is theirs. People will begin to think about protecting their own. They begin to reason and call the country their own. As it is today, no human being in that Zoological Republic owns Nigeria. They don't claim to be Nigeria. They don't claim Nigeria. They don't own. They don't behave ownership when they act of, about Nigeria. When there has to be issued a deal with Nigeria, you don't see citizens claiming ownership. Just like United States. You see a United States citizen. When he's talking about United States, he will talk about United States with passion. With passion. He will be bold to tell that I'm an American. He cannot watch you step your foot on top of the flag of america he will not stand and watch you insult their president he will not stand and watch you say something derogatory to their country because they know they have a country because they are patriotic but in that zoological republic we are the indigenous people have no say nobody is going to put his life on the line for that zoo nobody does the only people that are bent on caging people for their own self interest is the British. Is the British. The British are the ones that are bent. They are the ones that are benefiting from everything in that zoo. The suffering you are suffering staying together 
the evil you are seeing staying together, the killing you that is happening in your staying together, the bad economy that you are seeing staying together, the insecurity you are seeing staying together, the people that is favoring is the British. The West are favored. And that is why they want to maintain the status quo. That is why they maintain the status quo. After all, they gave you police force. What they gave you is a police force to checkmate you, to hold you down, to pin you down and make sure that you obey their instruction. And when you hear police force, that is where they police in Nigeria. Look at election day. 400,000 soldiers deported to, sent to Biafra land alone. 400,000 soldiers. But I thank you go government today. Today, Biafran people were in their home, locked up. Go to their house and pick them up. You see why we talk about sit at home? You see, as many as have sat at their home today, peacefully, they will be there until the whole thing ended. They will join the Biafra struggle and flag will be lifted. As many as have sat at their home, nothing will happen to you. You are safe and sound. Nothing will happen to you. But for those who will disobey, for those who will come and challenge their chief, whatever happens to them, they are going to be responsible for it. We will not answer for them. For every single thing you do, you will answer to yourself. When you meet Okike, you will answer. He will ask you a question and you will answer for yourself. He wouldn't say you are not told because we warned you. We told you about what will happen when it doesn't happen. It is so sad. It is so sad that there are still people People who claim to be Biafrans, who claim, they claim to be Biafrans, but yet.